I was just thinking about this earlier, and <clears throat> this is gonna be a real short one, real simple. You're only gonna be as successful as the people you talk to for no reason. You ever heard of negative energies? You know, fucking up positive energy. Like, if you surround yourself with a bum ass nigga all day long, and you talk to him, and you chill with him, you're eventually gonna become a bum ass nigga or your positive energy is gonna go low so you know the company you keep around why to be your uprise or your downfall so you see who you surround yourself with as the I was just thinking about this right now like I, I was looking back in history and shit and it happens all the time surround yourself with bum ass niggas and losers the hell you end up being one and if you are one of those it's not not gonna do for you <laughs> But it's true, man. The company you keep, for real. Niggas need to get they circle tight and shit. See, I be kicking niggas out my circle all the time. Niggas is losers. You know, from before, niggas are losers. So, if you want to be successful, why you think the most successful people have the smallest circle? Look at Donald Trump. The niggas known for kicking niggas out all the fucking time and shit. He's the most successful motherfucker. Look at Oprah. You ever see Oprah chilling with anybody? Hell no. I said the people you keep around you is the people who are they gonna break, make you or break you. For real, that's the realest shit. And if I gotta be alone to be a success, fuck it. If I gotta be with the people I'm with, fuck it. Whatever way it gotta be. That's the way it gotta be in the world, like straight up. You know, you always gonna you always gonna see what what people really do and what people really are later down down the line and shit. And then it's up to you to kick them out or keep them in there. But you see the most successful motherfuckers kick them niggas out. Negative energy once again. It's never good. Joinstreetshood.com.